Hi, I'm Andre from Luziogenic. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make an object pass through other objects and have that object uh, make that object invisible. So for this, we're going to use a static mesh actor like this cube right here. So in order to make this pass through other objects, we're going to have to adjust its collision presets. So we're going to do this by going to the collision right here. And for the collision presets, select no collision. So let's test this. As you can see, it passes through other objects. Now, uh, if we want this to simulate physics and, for example, be affected by gravity, we we'll have to check this simulate physics right here. And the um, uh, enable gravity is already selected. Now, if we test this out, we're going to see that it doesn't actually simulate physics. And this is because, as we can see in this uh, warning message right here, the collision pres presets are not uh, compatible with the physics simulation. So in order to fix that, we're going to go into the, uh, the collision options right here, select custom collision, and for the collision enabled, select one of these three. Uh, but in this case, we're going to select Collision Enable Query and Physics. So for the object to not collide with other objects, we're going to have to make them make it ignore them. So we'll do this by checking this right here, and it's going to ignore all the channels. So let's test it. So as you can see, the object is uh, affected by gravity, but passes through other object. Now, if we want this object to let's say, interact with only one type of object, we have to select block uh, for that type of object right here. So let's say we want this object to collide with the floor. Now the floor is a world static type. So this means we have to check block right here for the world static type. And if we test this again, we'll see it actually collides with the floor, but doesn't collide with other objects. So this is it for the collision. Now, if you want to uh, make the object invisible, you have two options. Either you make it invisible in the editor and in game, and you do that by checking the visible, right here, the visible, uh, actually unchecking it, the visible option. And if we try this out, it's invisible also in game. Either that or if you check this again and search for hidden right here, actor hidden in game, this will actually make the actor uh, hidden uh, in game, as you can see, but it will leave it be visible in the editor. Now, uh, these uh, two things that I showed you uh, are actually useful for me in uh, a specific situation. Um, when I want to use uh, a physics constraint to have a, a, a static mesh like this cube, uh, uh, for example, rotate around a virtual point in space. So I want only this cube to be vis visible and I want it to rotate around a, a virtual point, but not have other objects. Now, uh, as we know, uh, a physics constraint needs two objects to work. So for this, uh, we're going to use two objects, but the second object that is used as an anchor will actually make it invisible and uh, it will pass through all the objects. So let's see how we do that. We're going to create an actor right here. And we're going to use two cubes as the objects. One will be the base, the anchor, let's say the anchor. And the other one will be the mobile object. And let's also create the physics constraint. Now 
Now, sorry, physics constraint. Okay. Now, the anchor. Let's put the let's drag the anchor up with the physics constraint. So right here. So we'll have the bottom object rotate around this point. So let's fill this in. So we have the anchor right here and the mobile object right here. Now for the physics constraint to work, both of the objects have to uh, m meet two conditions. One is to have a mass and the other one is to have uh, collision enabled. Now, uh, for this, we so we want this to to be invisible in game. So we'll ha we'll look for hidden right here. Okay, and for the collision, go into the collision options right here, and check um, custom collision right here. Leave collision enabled, query in physics, and check ignore everything right here. So now it will still work for the physics constraint, but it will not affect, be affected by other objects in game. Now the only thing to do is for the mobile object to have it simulate physics right here. So if we drag the actor in, we can test it out. So you know, you know what? Let's go in and have it show this for now. So we'll check, we'll uncheck this for now, just so we're, we we can see it. So as you can see, this object rotates around the other one, and it doesn't collide with other objects. So if we also Go ahead and check this option here in game right here and try again. We're going to have an object that rotates around the virtual point in space. So this is exactly why, what, what I wanted. Okay, so this is it. Uh, if you like this video, uh, please subscribe for more videos like this. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.